this is this is a this is the motion on the consent motion. Mr. Grady. We are back in the English Parliament again, and the absurdity of this procedure is now being laid bare. And I'm delighted that members are groaning because several of them on this side of the House voted for it when it was introduced way back yes. in 2015. Yes. They didn't have to, this was a choice. Now, Madam Deputy Speaker, I'm, I'm not just trying to beat the record of my honourable friend for Perth and North Perthshire, who's spoken <laughs> in the Legislative Grand Committee England more times than any other member of this House <laughs> over the past four years. But can we just confirm, as you said again, that once again, if Scottish members, for whatever reason, were to object to the consent motion, you wouldn't even be able to hear their voices? It's as if we're invisible. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is, no, it is not. It is not as if any honourable member of this House is ever invisible. And, 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 or indeed, inaudible. <laughs> but merely, merely, merely once again following Standing Order 83W, which this House resolved to put into the Standing Orders of the House. Um, so we are now on the pr- point of order, Mr. Wishart. I am hearing the groans from my Conservative colleagues. I am um, just wondering, Madam Deputy Speaker, um, I, first of all, I have to keep my record up for speaking in the English Parliament. You know, like that, that's a record which I very much cherish and look forward to maintaining. But can you confirm that this is, these events will be televised, and the people throughout the United Kingdom, and particularly Scotland, are observing our proceedings this, this evening with a degree of mystification and bewilderment about yep. what is happening. And what Scottish viewers, Madam Deputy Speaker, you could confirm this, will be watching is the baying and the groaning yep. and the booing yep. of Conservative members yep. here Absolutely. about Scottish members of Parliament asserting their rights to have their say on the, co- the funding of their National Health Service. Can you confirm that that is indeed the case and that this House really needs to grow up, behave itself and come into the 21st century? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand the point that the Honourable Gentleman makes and I would say, as Mr Speaker always says and as every occupant of the chair always says, that our behaviour in this chamber at all times should be of a standard that makes us never ashamed to be watched by anyone on television or in any other way, regardless of the uh, subject of our proceedings. And I notice that that has engendered some slightly better behaviour. Thank you. Um, I call the Minister to move the consent motion formally. I move, Dame Eleanor, I move, beg to move uh, the consent motion. Formally. Order. Order. Under the terms of the Order of the House of 27th January, I must now put the question necessary to bring to a conclusion the proceedings in the Legislative Grand Committee on the consent motion. The question is the consent motion. As many as that opinion say aye. 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 Of the contrary, no, the ayes have it. The ayes. Now, here we come to a scientific matter. (laughs) Members representing the Scottish seats in those benches there are well aware that they don't have the right to vote on this particular motion. (coughs) Therefore, they don't have the right to shout no when I put the question. I can hear... I can hear, I can hear I on this side of the House, and the Honourable Gentleman for Perth and North Persia knows that I'm, I'm more than capable of discerning a Scottish no as opposed, as opposed to a non-Scottish no. And I am making the rule. Order, 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 and, 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 I, am, and, and I, I am ruling that the, that the shouting of no from these benches does not mean that we're going to have a division. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr Doherty Hughes, point of order. Uh, I want to have due regard for you and for anyone who sits in the chair of any parliament. You say that you could discern Scottish MPs 
shouting no. Now, I, I fully understand that. Can you advise me if you can hear Scottish constituency MPs on the opposite benches shouting yes? I believe I can. And, and, and I believe I can. But, but as their voices have been drowned out by the English yeses, I can't... I can't hear the Scottish members on this side. And um, the Honourable Member for Milton Keynes The Honourable Member for Milton Keynes South points out that although he has a Scottish voice, he has an English vote. We've had enough of this. Uh, the, no, Mr Blackford, must you uh, point of order? Grateful to you, Madam Data Speaker. I wonder if you can help me that when we all stood for election to this place in December 2019, we were sent here to represent our constituents. What message does the Deputy Speaker say that this gives to the people in Ross Sky and Lochaber and my many honourable friends that we are not permitted to vote in matters in this House which do have direct consequences for spending in Scotland? What does that say to the people in Ross Sky and Lochaber? Uh, I, that is not a point of order for the chair, and my opinion on the matter is irrelevant. Um, and we've had enough points of order. It's time to continue with business. Thank you. So, the eyes have it. The eyes have it. Order, order. I beg to report that the Legislative Grand Committee England has consented to the NHS funding bill. Third reading. No. Minister to move third reading. Madam Deputy Speaker, I beg to move that the bill be read a third time. The question is that the bill be now read the third time. As many as that opinion say aye. Aye. On the contrary, no, the ayes have it. The ayes have it. We are now moving on to the programme motion relating to the Telecommunications Infrastructure Leasehold Property Bill, programme number two, to be moved formally. I beg to move. The question is, as on the order papers, may that opinion say aye. Aye. On the contrary, no. The ayes have it. The ayes have it. Thank you. We now come to motion number three on rating and valuation. Minister to move. 